Spared for three weeks from shelling, the Ukrainian capital Kiev is once again a target of missile strikes. Ukraine's capital woke up at dawn with four explosions hitting a residential area. The shelling caused this nine-story building to burn, five people to be wounded while others remain under the rebels. We listen to the voices uh, under the uh, crash and uh, we know the couple of people inside. In the Donbass, the strategic city of Severodonetsk, a witness of the war's bloodiest fights, has fallen in the hands of the Russians. Another victory for Moscow after it took control of Mariupol. A success crowned with medals from the Russian defense minister who visited his forces in Ukraine. I have faith in you. You have many more glorious deeds ahead for the good of our homeland. Armed forces and airborne troops, I congratulate you. Take care. And there in Moscow, the Russian leader received one of his most close allies, Alexander Lukashenko. Vladimir Putin announced that his country would in the coming months deliver to Belarus nuclear-capable short-range missile systems, a message understood by the West that the price of any intervention will be high. We have made a decision. Within the next few months, we will hand over the Belarus the Iskander M tactical missile systems, which, as you know, can use both ballistic and cruise missiles, both in conventional and nuclear versions. In the wake of the fifth month of the conflict, Russia has achieved significant military achievements in eastern Ukraine. Meanwhile, NATO, ahead of its important summit in Madrid, warns the West that it must prepare to continue supporting Ukraine in a war lasting for years.